Oh, wait. Oh, one sec. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? Hopefully doing all right. We are here today to build the Mr. Suit. We are building it with their new switches, the Mr. Suit uh, tungsten, Mr. Suit, the tungsten switches from Owl Labs and the screw and steps from Owl Labs as well. A very Owl Labs uh, heavy build today. I will also be putting uh, GMK Botanical on it. I have unboxed this. I unboxed this on TikTok. Uh, so if you, you've seen this already over there, that's why. So if any of the packaging is must, if it's like messed up a little bit, I'm sorry. I tried to put it back just the way as I got it, but you know, it's, it's hard. Shall we get started? Uh, this Is this Stab's beta version or the commercial one? So I believe this is still beta. It's version two beta, if that makes sense. This is what it looks like, by the way. I'm super excited about these, but we'll get to those in a second. So here is the build. I keep playing with this magnetic flap. It is so satisfying, 10 out of 10. But here we go. So they sent me two plates to build with. They also sent me two PCBs to go along with that. These are not the hot swap PCBs. All right, we also have our feet and our gasket socks, which is the cutest name for a gasket I've ever heard. And our bottom foam. I'm going to be using as little foam as possible. What I've decided on is literally just PE foam. That's my preference. I don't like using too much foam in a build, so. Question, does the foam have an odor? It smells like foam. All right, dude, can we just look at this board for a second? She. This is bussin' bussin' on God respectfully sheesh. I can't get over those chamfers. All right, you guys are gonna see more of my room than I want you to here. Say hi to my twinkle lights. Let's, let's catch some light on that back badge. I do still have the um, protective film over it, which is why it looks like it has fingerprints and bubbles on it. It doesn't, that's the film. All right, here we go. What's this box? <gasps> is this the artisan? Guys, I have to confess something. I didn't see like an artisan in my first unboxing and I was kind of bummed about it. I was like, oh, I didn't get one. Damn, I'm not special. But here, I'm wrong. <gasps> Look how cute! I like it. I mean, cute isn't the right word, but it's very cool. I like that the weight is slightly recessed. That makes me feel a little bit better about it. And that's actually one of my hugest, well, hugest, one of my one of my major concerns with like shiny bottom boards is like unless it's recessed a bit it will eventually scuff so i appreciate that they kept that in consideration guys i don't think there's anything more satisfying than taking the plastic off of something shiny or new literally nothing i can think of it's one of my favorite things all right for those of you who enjoy this oh no i let go like no god we're gonna try again oh yeah one more. She. She. There is. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of rippling. Um, not my fave. Uh, but it's not so bad if that makes sense. It's pretty hard to get PVD to lay smoothly. Uh, basically, it depends on how you do your PVD coating and what the surface looks like prior to PVD coat. It's not the best PVD I've ever seen, but it's far from the worst if that makes sense. There we go. Oh, hi, Papa. Do you want to say hi? Oh, you just took my... <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope RTX covered the sound of that. Hi, so I'm um, I'm taking screws out. You can't bite these though, okay? We promise you. I know you really... Oh, no, no. That's that's not gonna work. <laughs> nope. He really likes screws. <laughs> Swear to Christ. You're gonna give me a heart attack. I want to catch the light a little bit on those. So these are gold. I don't know how much that's showing up, but yes, the chamfers are all on the inside, all the way around, and they are very gold. And then on the mid plate as well, this one's gonna be really hard to see. I don't know if I can catch the light, but it, that is also like a really shiny gold right along the edge. It looks gorgeous when it's put together. I love the evolution and aesthetic between the jelly and this. I'm gonna do this peel just for me. I thought you weren't supposed to peel? Didn't they say to leave the inner weight plastic on? Um, I feel like the only reason to do that is if you have hot swap sockets or something that might make contact with the bottom. But th if there's nothing making contact with the bottom, there should be no reason to not remove the plastic. Um, that's probably, I assume, why they said that. So if you're worried about that, keep it on. But I'm pretty sure I can troubleshoot any issues that might arise. All right, 
You are in the way. You are so in the way. Can you move? I know you're sleepy, but you gotta, you gotta go. Sleepy face, very snoozy. Kitty breathing is hypnotizing. He do be breathing though. To be sure, are we talking about ESD shorting? No, um, no, 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 no. So ESD is electrostatic discharge. Um, that's not actually shorting. That's if you like shock. I mean, I guess technically it's shorting, but it's if you if you shock your PCB. You know, you wear socks, you rub your feet on carpet, and you shock your PCB. That's very rare, by the way, and it's pretty hard to like protect against. Actually, like you can. <laughs> I don't want to get too technical, but it's really hard to protect against because there's a lot of different ways it can happen and to troubleshoot for all of those is next to impossible. But this is talking about specifically having two pieces of metal touch different keys, or different row and column pins, uh, causing it to register keys that aren't actually being registered. That sort of shorting, just to clarify. So um, you guys have probably already seen this demoed out the wazoo, uh, but these are supposedly made of a special alloy that uh, has a memory to it. Uh, so that if you bend them, like I'm gonna bend them, so you can see they bend really easily, especially for something of this thickness compared to normal stabs, but if you bend them, they spin right back. All right, we are all good now. So we're gonna get started on popping everything together. Since this isn't hot swap, we don't need to do the um, hot swap standoffs. <laughs> Brain no worky for a second. Could you clarify what tungsten switches are? Tungsten switches are a new switch that is releasing very soon from Owl Labs, the same people who made the Mr. Suit and the stabs we are using today with the memory wire. Um, they are a nylon top and nylon bottom uh, palm stem with a long pull and they are linear. So they should be quite loud, um, but in a good way. And they should be fairly deep sounding from that nylon. Ooh, she flexy chat. Hold on, this isn't built yet, obviously, but like, Ooh, hello. Now, honestly, this seems like it would be easier to assemble the other way around, um, but I'm gonna assemble it the wrong way around because I like hurting myself. All right, now we'll just flip it over and uh, get it screwed together. Wait, where are the screws? Interesting, the baby powder case is more of a warm white. That's why I chose botanical uh, to go along with it, is to show you, and why I kept my thermal with uh, Con Momo up here as well, to give you all sorts of references for that white. Aren't I thoughtful? So this is bleached, and this is minimal. So it's, it's warmer even than minimal. Oh no, that's the light alphas from uh, Future Fun. <laughs> this is minimal. Are those the same color? Oh shit, I didn't even need to do that. They are the same, practically. There you go. It's, it's quite warm. All right, shall we plug this baby in and type on it for y'all? If you hear any of this sound, that's my nails, okay? All right, so <laughs> this is our Owl Labs Mr. Suit. This is foamless, except for we did use the PE uh, layer. That's that's not technically technically foam. Don't come for me for that. And this is with a palm plate with the new tux tungsten switches, and they have been lubed lightly with GS2. Our stabilizers are the Owl Lab stabilizers and those have been lubed with BH Dragon Ball Z lube. Um XHT BDZ. Um and uh I think 205 on the housing. All right.
these are not over lubed. The reason why you think it sounds over lubed is because of the PE foam layer is isolating those switches the same way too much lube uh, would 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 make it like make it sound a little bit more muted because you're isolating some stuff there too. The actual sound that over lube switches make isn't this like I it's it's also this kind of poppy sound, but the real way to know if it's over lube versus foam is if it's making a slurping sound. So the texture, I don't think will show. Um, I'll try, I'll try really hard. It is a very fine texture, but there is texture, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's like um, certain Cerakotes. Yeah. Um, not the smooth ones, but the not smooth ones. See, that's not very helpful either, is it? There you go, that's all I can really do for you. It's a fine texture, what it's like is the texture? the finest, finest sandpaper. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like um, PBT, like EPBT texture. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so here it is next to the Ginkgo. So the thermal is right there as well. Um, I already had that as a, perfect. And then, um, there you go, those are the whites. This is the Kiko. I think it's closest to the Fuji. It's pretty close, it's just slightly more yellow. Um. Here's the Palm Sirius. Can you hold this up for them? Yes. Upside down, please. Yes. Oh yeah, there's a Palm Sirius. Hi, Bud Bud. Good morning. And here's an Audley. I think this is enough white keyboards. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all I have to compare. <laughs> Thanks for the stream as always. Such wow, much informative. Always here to answer questions. And I will see you later. Goodbye, friends. Bye. Raindrop.